Uh, this is Artifacts of Mars, and here's our Mad Science update for today. This one's actually pretty funny. Nothing to get mad at here other than they're wasting taxpayers' dollars, but that's nothing new. UW Science Models just ready to record Rumble Seahawks fans at playoff game versus the Lions. Pacific Northwest Seismic Network has installed monitors to measure the rumble that will be created by Seahawk fans at CenturyLink Field during Saturday's game against the Detroit Lions. Seahawk fans have a documented history of making the Earth move think Beastquake. And scientists are hoping the habit will help them perfect the system predicting and monitoring earthquakes in the region. Uh, I didn't know that earthquakes were actually caused by rowdy football fans. Well, what on earth? And Thursday, a crew of scientists from, and I would put that in quotes, from University of Pacific Northwest Seismic Network installed several sensors and cameras around Central Link Field for a Seahawks Saturday contest with the Detroit Lions. They kick off viewers will be able to watch real time information about stage stadiums movements via the group's website. For example, if Russell Wilson happens to connect uh, deep ball and Jimmy Graham in the fourth quarter to win it, crowds certain exuberance will be recorded and relayed live to the site. The goal is to detect, analyze, and present information about seismic activity caused by excited fans inside the stadium as quickly and as reliably as possible, said Bill Steele, Nation Network spokesman. You ever heard of using a microphone? I mean, I'm sure it's going to, uh, be rowdy there. I'm not <laughs> denying that. This isn't the first time sensors have been placed in and around Century Link. For the past three years, scientists have been capturing fans' movements during big games by detecting the initial tremors from an earthquake from the closest stations. The warning system could provide up to several minutes notice before the strong ground shaking hits, scientists say. But this is not caused by fall, it's caused by rowdy fans. Imbeciles! Network scientists hope data collected during the Seahawks playoff run could help for improve warning systems and save lives, Steel said. In addition to collecting data, scientists hope to test the computer systems that share information with the public in real time. Network's website might just get a few hundred views during a day. During an average week, Steele said, but per week visits to the website explodes into the millions after seismic events putting pressure on its systems. Steele said scientists want to know whether computers can give up, keep up with the demand. And the Seahawks playoff game is great for creating those conditions in a controlled environment. As we are developing products, we want to make sure we're thinking about how, in practical terms, we push data to a lot of people quickly. For that, there's nothing like a real world stress test. For crying out loud. The entire population of that city. The Seattle jumped up and down for 10 minutes. They couldn't make the ground move. Uh, you scientists are getting wackier by the minute. Minute. Why don't you uh, go place your monitors at some faults and measure the tremors coming from them. I mean, earthquakes are unpredictable. This is a predictable event. And it's not an earthquake either, it's just 
and all drunk rowdy fans raising cane. <sighs> Unbelievable things they all spend their money on. That shows the kookiness of these people. Kooky, kooky, kooky. I want to fax some Mars. Thanks for watching.